What's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Welcome to our flagship store, Easy Blade Barbers & Co. I know today the scenery is a little different. You usually see me in the warehouse. But today we're gonna to talk about the difference between the Andis Cordless Master and the Wall Magic Clip. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna talk about between these two machines is the price. Now when you look at the Andis Master, the Andis Master is about, you can get it from $215 to $230, depending where you look. And if you look at the Wall Magic Clip, you can get it for about $110, $115. All depends where you go. Now the cool part is both of them are cordless. Now Wall is coming in first place because they started off with the cordless clipper and Andis waited about a year and a half later. You guys, so first thing is the wall has a different type of lever. Walls always had this plastic lever. I think some of them are so with a metal lever now, but they always had like this plastic lever, which is pretty loose and pretty short, if you ask me. And uh, Andis always had this nice long lever. So on a lever, on a lever side of things, in my opinion, I think that the Andis Master is coming in first place with the, uh, with the lever, all right? Now let's look at the bodies. Now, both of these particular bodies weigh the same. Um, and I'll also pull out a, a, a Wall Senior as well for you guys. Now the Wall Senior is plastic. I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys are probably looking for the Wall Senior as well. The Wall Senior is plastic. It has a little bit of, of a lighter weight than the uh, Andis Master. So the weight is almost the same. I wanna say the, the Andis is coming in a little bit heavier. Now, depending who you are, you might like a heavier machine. Me personally, I like a heavier machine. I don't like it too light. Some people like it light. Now I gotta give it to Wall for coming in with the body. Now if you look at the body, you see these little grooves. These grooves um, allow you to put your fingers in the places that they need to be. Now when you grab the Andis Master, it doesn't have any grooves on it. Um, so you feel like, you know, it's a possibility you can drop it. You know, you might, you might not, but this will give you more like stability. You feel like you kind of have the, the machine locked in. Okay. Now when it comes to power, I have to give it to Andis Master. The Andis Master has a lot of power. Um, and it kind of feels like your classic Andis Master. The classic Andis Master is really, is a lot heavier than this, obviously, because it's, you know, corded, which is a bigger motor inside of there, I think. But very, very, uh, it feels like it's a lot more durable. Um, and then when you go with the wall, it has power, but not as much power as I think it should have. Okay, now let's talk about the charger. Now, as you can see, Wall has a regular corded charger that you just plug in the bottom of your machine, and it pretty much fits in any, any Wall machine. Um, I think they kind of dropped the ball with that one. As you know, Andis came up with a charger port where you can go ahead after you finish cutting hair and put your, uh, your machine on the charger port, which is a lot more easier, a lot more convenient. You don't have to put it in a drawer. At the end of the day, just put your charger onto the charger port. All right, so let's talk about the guards. Now I wanna say Andis absolutely killed it with the guards. They have magnetic guards, guys. So you can see there's a magnet, put it on your machine and it'll stick right to the blade. They killed it with the magnetic guards. The wall went ahead and if you buy these more expensive uh, clips here that you see, these have more of a safety clip at the bottom. So for, for a lot of you new guys, these would be great. But the standard ones that come with the machine would be these plastic ones. They work good as well. But if you guys are really worrying about dropping a clip off and prob probably putting a hole in somebody's head, I will go with the magnetic guards for the Andis. Okay guys, that pretty much sums up the video. Andis versus wool. Is there a winner? Absolutely not guys. It's all up to you. So if you're in a barber shop with people, you get to try both clips, then you wanna just go ahead and try each one and see which one works for you. Can't really choose one, as you can see, I have both, but just depending what I'm doing, if I'm doing like an afro shaping or, sh or a flat top or something like that, I will go ahead and use Andis to give me that nice, crisp flat top or afro or something like that. And I will go with wall if I wanna get a nice, tight taper. So it all depends, it all varies, but you got some people who absolutely love wall, and you got people who, who absolutely love Andis. And I've started out with Andis in the beginning. And then when wall came out with a cordless clipper before Andis, I started getting into wall, but now I just love both of them. All right, guys, Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. If you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you need any products, go to EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. I will talk to you guys soon.